Okay, so I got my handy dandy battery brush. I cleaned both the terminal and the terminal connector, and it's on there tight. Let's see if we can get this thing to fire up. Again, this is a 2005 Matrix. fired up and uh, it's not much of a car so I really hope you guys don't mind if I cut this up I'm really itching to do a body swap the wheelbase for this is much longer I think it's 105 and the track is a little wider so it won't work as good as the red CRX that's behind it but I think today I'm gonna work on cutting the top off and I got a channel in and we'll just see how far we get I'll probably take the seats out you guys can watch along so uh, Stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see what this thing looks like once I get some cutting done. Thanks for watching. All right, so my plan was to cut this 1988 Honda CRX DX up this weekend so I could use it for a donor for one of my microcar projects. And uh, YouTube has spoken and talked me out of it. So what did I do? <laughs> I cut up a different car. Uh, I don't like this one as much. It's got a longer wheelbase and it's an automatic, which bums me out. But this used to be a 2005 Matrix that was involved in a pretty hefty front shunt here. You can see it's still crumpled and it knocked out the motor mount, the intake manifold, the alternator, the ABS. And I fixed that stuff to see if it would run and it does. Uh, so let's pull it into the shop and we got to cut some more. We got to narrow it now. We've taken off most of the body. There's nothing on the back. There's I chopped off the front frame rails and now I have to section it in the center to get my wheelbase right and there's a fuel tank there and fuel lines and wires and stuff underneath here so I got to get up on the lift and see what's going on. Let's see if she'll start up. I'm pretty sure it will. I've got my safety glasses on because I had to cut the windshield and I don't want glass blowing in my eyes. So let's give her a little whirl here. Yeah, it worked pretty good. It didn't take that long to cut the body down. Uh, I went through two hacksaw blades or sawzall blades and uh, a bunch of round blades, but it wasn't too bad. The only bummer is I sawed through the fuel neck tube, and that was really bad. I should have I should have planned for that better, but I couldn't figure out why that quarter panel wasn't coming off, and I just got serious and cut right through it. Well, I'll fix it later. This is the charcoal canister, which I did save, so I can hook it up and um, not have the check engine light on the new car. Uh, but this is what it looks like. This is what uh, I still have a lot of work to do, actually. This has got to get cut probably a foot on both sides, so I'm probably going to take the airbag out, see if I can save that. But I've got to saw through the dash on both sides or maybe move the steering wheel over I'm not sure because the microcar bodies are much narrower in track and this area is a big structure area for front-wheel drive cars and I think I got cut most of it out I got to cut all the way up to the shock um, to try to get that body over it so I'm gonna be here a while all right well I'll stand back so you can get a good look at what I'm working on today in the shop it's a little different all right thanks for watching and thanks for putting up for me and my, my need to cut something up. I'm feeling better already.